Hi and welcome to the show. My next guest is from Liberia and is now a financial investor who has set his focus on mergers and acquisitions, private equity and venture capital transactions. What was it like integrating? Had you ever visited the U.S. before? You've never been out of Liberia, I assume, never, at this point. So out. what was it like? What was that, that transition like arriving in Maryland and a completely new place? Yeah. And I remember kids making fun of me. They made fun of my accent. Mm. They made fun of my clothes. Uh, and so that really kind of shaped me. And I, knew, I learned pretty quickly that I needed to adapt and, and, and fit in to the culture that I, I now had moved to and, and, and so that I wouldn't really stand out or people wouldn't have a reason to, mm. to make fun of me. But why law? I mean, just going, you, you, you went to, to, I mean, law is not, it's not, was that what you wanted to do or did you have any pressure from your folks to follow a certain path? Um, what really drew, drew me to law was when we moved to the States, it was in the middle of the 1992 presidential elections. Mm -hmm. And I was just extremely drawn to Bill Clinton. And he was one of those people who just so, um, so engaging, so charismatic. And I was like, I want to be like that guy. And so looking at Bill Clinton's history, I'm like, oh, he went to law school. I should go to law school. And, and, you know, and over time, that thought developed. It's like, you look at the people that are in Congress, that are in leadership roles, a lot of them went to law school. And so I just saw it as a way to, in order to get to where I wanted to be. It was the best path that would help prepare me for that. Where do you see new leadership coming from on this continent? There's three types of de development. There's political development, there's social development, and there's economic development. For a long time, I thought political development was the most important thing, mm -hmm. and it is to an extent. But the, extreme, the first thing that comes in any country, it's economic development. People need to be able to feed themselves. They need to be able to provide for their families. They need to raise their standard of living. And you can only do that through economic development. You can't do it through political development. You can't do it through social. You can do it to an extent through social development. But a lot of what happens in those other areas, the root of it is economic Requires, development. Yeah. And so as, you, as people are making a better living for themselves, they're able to provide for their families, uh, their standard of living rises, then they're going to demand changes in other parts of, of, of development. They're going to demand changes in, in, in the social sector. They're going to demand changes in, in the political environment. They're going to hold their politicians a lot more accountable. The show's called The Scoop, you know. <laughs> I usually ask my guests to give me something about them that hopefully nobody else knows. When I was at Emory, I was student body president. And each year, the student body president gets to introduce President, former President Jimmy Carter. Yula, thank you very much, my brother. Thank you. So really much. appreciate your time. Thanks yeah. for coming on that the show. This was great. Thank you. This was wonderful.